You talked about the school budget some. Let's go a little bit more specific in some areas. Um, what is the status for, for uh, funding construction and repair projects in the schools? Okay, well I can tell you all about that. We have recently just uh, issued six and a half million dollars in bonds for Sumner County. And that is a very small bond issuance. But the reason we did that is we've had some issues that I've seen after I took office. We've got some buildings that need repairs. It's much more efficient for us when a building is in disrepair for us to, to make the necessary repairs, put a new roof on, uh, uh, a new HVAC system, replace windows, do other things to extend the life of that building. We cannot afford right now to take older buildings and replace them with new buildings. We just don't have the resources to do it. One reason the six and a half million dollars was issued, we need some repairs on the county administration building. It seems like a new building, but it's 20 years old. Some of the windows, that, all the windows that were put in there were wooden windows, rather commercial windows. I don't understand why, and they've rotted out. We've got some other issues that we need to repair. The courthouse on the square needs a brand new roof. We've got some other issues with it. And then we have also uh, allocated $2 million to the schools to do repairs on existing school buildings. We've got school buildings that need window replacement, roofs, HVACs, the whole nine yards. So uh, we're in the process of doing that. Uh, this bond issue also, $1.25 million is appropriated to build a new animal control facility. I'm very glad about that. We finalized that. Right now we have the architectural plans complete and uh, <coughs> we will receive back uh, the bid proposals uh, within the end of this month. We're thinking we're going to get some really competitive bids and uh, I think that's going to be great for the county because the facility that we've been operating in is, is over 30 years old and has never been expanded and it is in bad repair and it was originally started off as a garage that we built onto so I think this will be a great thing for Sumner County and save the taxpayers money because our adoption rate of these animals will go up and we won't have to euthanize and uh, cremate so many animals, which will reduce our cost. Having said this, and I know I'm talking a lot, but I want to tell everybody about the great thing that's happened to us. Sumner County has been managed so well over the last few years that not only when we issued these bonds, because every time you issue bonds, you have to be rated again and we were rated through the uh, Moody's Rating Service. We were at a double A minus. We not only jumped one rating increase, we jumped two. We went from a double A minus to a double A up to a double A plus. There's only six counties in the state of Tennessee that's got a bond rating that high, and there's only one that's got a rating higher, and that's Williamson County with a triple A rating, and the only reason that they have a rating that high is because they have what you'd call uh, more conducive demographics. In other words, they got more rich folks living in the county. <laughs> and, you know, you can say it any way you want to. But let me tell you, out of all the counties that's in this group with the AA plus, we're the smallest population wise. Uh, all of our amortization on our debt is 10 years or less. We're run very efficiently. And what this means and you're going to say, well, why does a bond rating make any difference? Because we're borrowing money at almost the very lowest rate you can. That means when we go out and we acquire these funds, most of these funds, the vast majority are used for projects rather than paying investors for borrowing money. Right. So it's a huge savings for our county and a real plus. It's like a county's credit score. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, um, last time you were here, you um, talked about educate and grow Sumner County. Can you give us some details and if there's some well, success sure. on that? Well, sure. Sure, I can. Um, there has been uh, a lot of success. First of all, um, in 2009, we have had 113 uh, students that fulfilled the requirements of the Tennessee Scholars Program and are going to receive scholarships. That's phenomenal. That's a that's a huge uh, increase. Now, for all those out there, the deadline is March the 31st, which is the end of this month. 
And if you're interested and if you've competed or, or completed this uh, Tennessee Scholars Program in your school, uh, you can check out our website, www.sumnercompass.org. And uh, there's still time to apply. And basically what this does, and you, you guys know what, really what it does, this is the scholarship of last resort after the Hope Scholarship. And if you're in Sumner County and you receive this, you can go to Ball State free of charge, um, your tuition's paid for. Oh, wow. yeah. So that's a great program for a lot of people. And you know, you can tell the folks about this more than I have. What's your enrollment done here? It's skyrocketed because mm -hmm. a lot of people can't afford right now to send their children to mm -hmm. a four-year institution. Mm -hmm. This is a great place to get those two years in right. and get a great bang for your buck and then send them on to a four-year institution for the last two years and get your bachelor's degree. So I'm very excited about it. It's a great program and it kind of sets us apart and helps us too. It's, it's a win-win situation. It's win for the families here. It's win for the county because a lot of these uh, people who are looking to relocate to Sumner County see this and they say, wow, they've got a, a great program and education is a priority in this county.